Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna do some disking with our Dirt Dog disc on the Kubota M4 tractor. Now Dirt Dog does offer discs to fit tractors big and small, so we have them as small as four foot wide if you're looking for something for a subcompact tractor. You know, the five, six, seven foot range, everywhere in between two. You're gonna see these are two rows on this disc right here, and they are gonna be able to be offset so you can have them that are pretty much straight in line just for the light tilling, or you can make them really aggressive on steep angles to really get a, an aggressive turn of your soil and everywhere in between. Now, disking is typically gonna be a kind of a final run or a final pass that you can do prior to uh, planting your seed. The very popular alternative would be using a rototiller, which I absolutely love. Now, this is the first run with a Dirt Dog disc harrow. I've used these in the past. They do work well. I don't think they're gonna give you the same finished results as a rototiller would. Not the most consistent seed bed, but we're gonna try it in a couple of spots today. A few weeks back, we did a long stretch with a big old subsoiler and ripped down over 20 inches, close to two foot down. Um, we're gonna be putting in a screening cover right here to kind of give us a little bit of distinction as hunting season comes around in the fall. And so oftentimes you are going to do some sort of a deep tillage application. It could be with a plow, it could be with a subsoiler, and you would come through afterwards with a disc or a rototiller for your final preparation. I'm going to show you a couple different areas today. One of them will be where we did previously do that deep tillage. Another area is going to be where we haven't done any kind of soil disturbance at all. So you'll see this farm ground here has not been tilled, has not been worked in well over a decade. So it's not great soil, right? It's uh, got a lot of clay in it, a lot of sand, a lot of small stones. The topsoil is just so-so at best. So you're gonna have a chance to see how the disc harrow does on something that's been previously worked up as well as we're gonna call it virgin ground and see if it gives you the desired results. Now these disc harrows will work with any category one uh, three point hitch. They're also gonna be quick hitch compatible. The bigger guys will work with category two three points as well. Dirt dog attachments are made down in Georgia, so they're made in the USA. A few other points worth noting, you are gonna have sealed ball bearings in all of the axles, a two inch square tube frame all around. Your gangs are gonna be held on by a three by, I think it's one and a half inch square tube or rectangular tube uh, in the black that you can see here. And you're gonna see we have an optional scraper kit added on. That's what these little uh, U, U brackets are that are clamped down with these black rods that are hanging along. That's a, a scraper kit, so uh, the mud and debris will kind of clean off a little bit easier. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust these to a bit more of an aggressive angle, and then we're gonna get to work. But don't forget, goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country. Not just discs, but your rototillers, your brush hogs, your flail mowers, pallet forks, snow pushers, you name it, the list goes on. So check it out, goodworkstractors.com.
As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below. folks there you have it you have a look right where we're standing this is where we had done that deep tillage and on the far side near the road frontage is where we tilled that virgin ground up so not really much of a difference in results i don't think so yeah, i think it'd be okay either way now that is four passes we went down and back twice on each one of these strips so imagine the amount of time that it would take you and it's really easy right you're just dropping it down and going um, but it's going to take you a while to do. But I do have a hydraulic top link on here, which is nice to make those adjustments from the operator seat. You know, it's a little bit of playing around with the speed, with uh, the angle of that top link to get the right, you know, I mean the optimal, I guess, conditions for the disc. And I did adjust this. I went with the most aggressive position, the first down and back in both areas. And then I adjusted it, made it a little bit less aggressive. There's four different settings or four different angles. So I made it one less aggressive setting on there and did another pass on it. You know, and I don't think if I go any less aggressive, it's gonna make it any better. You know, I could go over it again and again, and I think it would improve the results. And if I had a larger field, you know, like if I did this whole field right now, um, I could come at it from different angles, kind of crisscross it as well. And that would certainly break up these clumps and these clods a little bit better. And we're gonna get to doing areas like that later this spring. This is just uh, for a screening cover that we're trying to get in right now. But what you see on here, these are gonna be notched discs that are on here and they have smooth discs as well. The notched ones are gonna be better for breaking up kind of the sod and the, and the heavy matter and debris that's in here. Say you have a, a cornfield with some corn stubble afterwards and you're knocking that all down. So really good for that. These scrapers came into play really nicely. Um, the last time I used a disc several years ago, it's been a while, there was just huge clumps of dirt and everything that we're getting on there. So the same problem that has plagued me on discs for smaller tractors like what you see here is really kind of that uh, weight ratio you know you want a lot of weight kind of pushing down into the ground uh, to help your, your disc do its thing and there were times when if i was going too fast that it felt like it wanted to ride up on top of the ground 
instead of down in it and going through it. Um, some of that was top link adjustments that I was making. Some of that was speed too, but the benefit of one of these discs is that you can go through different terrain. You know, you saw a lot of sticks and roots and things like that, that a tiller may otherwise struggle with. And a tiller is going to be slower, but one pass is gonna yield the results that I think personally are better than four passes with a disc. And so the Kubota here has a little speedometer on there, tells you how fast you're going. And I was bouncing between um, second and third gear in low range, and I was going from 2.1 to uh, 2.56 miles per hour. So going faster than Tiller, of course, but you can see these finished results, which overall aren't terrible, but they're nowhere near what a Tiller can do. And there's certain areas out here that are, well, this is really good right here actually, but there's certain areas up top and a couple of different spots where it looks like there's just big old chunks of sod still. And of course, that crisscross hatch would fix that, but just an observation. Anyway, we've got a lot of tilling videos coming up, whether it's with a disc or a tiller or a plow, planting all sorts of stuff. We're gonna put um, some pollinator uh, seed out here as well, have some wildflowers growing, the field across or behind this um, uh, fence row here, we're gonna turn into a lot of different food plots. We're in Northwoods Whitetails food plot seed dealer as well. So we're just getting set up with them. So look for more information from them on our website. And again, if you're looking for a tractor attachment, something for the three point hitch for the front end loader, we're happy to help. We sell and ship all over the country. Check out goodworkstractors.com. If you wanna see those future videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Get to know what these tractors are all about. If you have your own projects planned for the future, maybe you'll learn some things not to do by watching us. Either way, I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. All right, so Chris and I were talking about it. We're going to do one final pass, make it a little bit less aggressive even yet. See what it ends up looking like. We'll see you later.